bake about 420 or so degrees. Start that up. Get some aluminum foil on your pans, and then we're gonna do some veggie chopping here. We got some carrots and asparagus, mushrooms, two kinds, lean stew, lean beef stew meat, salmon with the skin, my boys. Over here, I'm about to do a little bit of washing of some Brussels sprouts. Let's get going on this. We're gonna cut the ends off. The ends can be a little tough to chew. Those are good to go. And we're just gonna put them on here on the tray. Just put them on the tray. Kinda get them spread out, you know. They don't have to be in a single layer, just something like that. And then we're gonna come back over here, we're gonna chop some carrots. I like heirloom carrots, just cause they're colorful. Doesn't really matter. I get all this stuff at Trader Joe's, so. Last one. Don't forget to wash your carrots either. They can have some dirt on there or some things that you might not want. Once you got them all chopped up, oop, that's the sound of our heat ready. Right? Once they're all chopped up, they go right on with the asparagus in that little empty spot. Just grab them, put them on there. Grab them, put them on there. Okay, now that's one tray done. We got our asparagus and our heirloom carrots on there, ready to go in the oven in a moment. Now the other tray, we are gonna put mushrooms and Brussels sprouts. So I'm gonna rinse these off. I'm gonna run them under the water just for a little bit. Then I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna just dump them out, chop them up. Oh, sometimes you get a runaway. Brussels sprout. Lonely Brussels sprout. I like to take my Brussels sprouts and just cut them in half so they cook a little better. Okay, now Brussels sprouts on the tray. Next up are the shrooms. We got the dark brown criminy mushrooms and just your regular white mushrooms. We're gonna just sort of cut both of them up, mix them together, a little mix going. First, I'm gonna wash them. I'm gonna put them here in a strainer, give them a little wash. Mushrooms especially need to be washed. So just gonna wash them in the sink like this. Wash. All right, turn the water down a little bit, don't waste so much water. You know what I'm saying? Keep it environmentally friendly over here. We're making a healthy meal, so might as well make a healthy environment while we're at it. Wash. Cutty board. 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 I already gave them a little cut. I like to cut them in half, take one mushroom, help them cook better, and make some actually bite size. We'll cut them up. All right, now that they're cut up, they're gonna go over here with our Brussels sprouts. All right, voila, so that's the veggies. We got our mushrooms, our Brussels sprouts, our carrots, and our asparagus. Now, over to the meat. We got our lean beef stew meat. All this, I'm just gonna put it right into here. It's already cut, that's why I like it. Just break them apart a little bit so they're not stuck together. They're just gonna cook like that. The other one, we go with our salmon. So a pound of this and about a pound of the steak. We take one filet, and we lay it in there. Take the other filet, beautiful filets, and lay it in there. I love salmon filets. Get them in there like that, and they're gonna cook totally fine. So on these veggies, what I'm gonna do, first of all, I'm gonna take just some extra virgin olive oil and I'm gonna just lather it up. Like, 
I'm not even worried too much about how much I'm putting on. I'm literally just pouring. Just shaking and pouring. I'm literally lathering it up. I don't really mind how much there is. I just sort of go over it like that. Some good healthy oils there. Then, got a couple of seasonings. I'm over here getting some spices. So I use uh, garlic powder, cracked pepper, salt, and lastly I, get, I use a little onion powder as well. Onion powder, I just sprinkle over all the veggies generously for sure. Garlic powder, again, generously. Garlic and onion is always a great flavor adder to any veggie. Really, you can't go wrong with garlic and onion. Take a little bit of salt, put some salt on there, just shake it. Again, I'm not too worried about the amount of salt. I'm not really worried about amount of anything in this. I'm just putting it all in there. Give everything its fair shake. And then I take a little bit of pepper and crack some pepper. Pepper it over. This is to your taste. Some people don't like peppers too uh, spicy. It's a little bit too much of a burn. But I just crack a little bit of pepper over it. That added pop, that added flavor. And there's your veggies. So over here, we got our steak and our salmon. What I put on them, I do the rub with love salmon rub, and then just some regular old Uncle Chris's gourmet steak seasoning. Again, not too concerned, just something about like that. I take my Uncle Chris's gourmet seasoning, come over to my steak, and give it a little sprinkle like that. And now that and that, along with my seasoned veggies, asparagus, carrots, Brussels sprouts, and onions, just onions, tomatoes, they all go in the oven, which is already preheated. My 420 degrees. Veggies, slide them in. Eats, slide them in. Close it up. Set a timer for 22 minutes. Start. And then in 22 minutes, we'll take them out. This is five days of lunches. I just mix them all together, all from Trader Joe's. Grilled cauliflower, fire roasted bell peppers, a little bit of vegetable melange with seasoned butter sauce, a little mushroom medley, a, what does it say? Harvest hodgepodge, various veggies, and then on top of all that, some grilled chicken. Just grilled chicken strips, frozen, Trader Joe's. Easy peasy. What I also bring to school with my lunch, one avocado a day. Now with all the veggies and mushrooms in, chicken goes on top, and with chicken on top, fresh out of the oven, we got our meats, and our veggies, and ready to put them in our containers for the week. And that's what they look like when they are done. That's four nights worth of meals there. Just took equal portions of each thing and threw them in there together. It's a little medley. Medley. And there you go, one week's worth of lunches and dinners. Pretty healthy, pretty good. I don't have to do anything for the rest of the week as far as cooking. Pretty simple.